We are live. Ladies and gentlemen, greetings from Somerville. Do I, do I have a welcome song now? Yeah. Hey! hey. Ladies and gentlemen, greetings from Somerville live from the SBTV studios. This is an exciting evening. This is, you'll notice there was no applause which means there's nobody here. <laughs> we have to clap for ourselves. No, this is a sign of progress. I think it's a very exciting night. Uh, Jack, our CEO slash cameraman slash uh, water guy is here. And he, uh, normally we've had a few people in the studio and have made some little scant applause tonight. We are flying with a scant crew. And that means they have confidence that we're gonna do well tonight. And I could not be more excited about my guest. Alin Simmons, CPT certified personal trainer. Alin Simmons, welcome to the studio, Alin. Thank you. Thank you. Again, us clapping, and you, you clap. If I had you. known, I would have brought my entourage. It's, uh, you know, it's, uh, we, we had one briefly, and they, after two weeks, we lost our entourage. <laughs> I'm excited that you're here for many reasons. The first of which is I get to wear shorts again. I have been wearing long pants and blazers for this thing all summer, and I, as you might have picked up on, I'm a bit of a sweater. Uh, a tad of a, a perspiration. I am self-basting. Um, and so uh, I am happy because you're a personal trainer. We're going to talk about health, fitness, getting in shape, um, help me hopefully. And I feel like wearing shorts then would be a good excuse. Yeah, you can move better in that. That's, yeah, well, you're about That's to see. That's what we'll say, right? You're about to see some things, believe me. Uh, so, Alin, to tell everyone how we met, um, doing this show, uh, I was about five, six weeks ago, my brother was on, and we both have uh, had better days uh, physically, let's put it that way. We've looked better, and uh, I, he and I engaged in a contest for the summer, if you will, to say, let's try to lose some weight, let's try to get in shape. I've been a little slow out of the gates. I have not done perhaps what I should be doing. So I thought I would cheat a little and bring in some professional help. Enter me. Enter Alin, who I know because you trained my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if you know, remember the day that we met, but uh, you were over at uh, our, our apartment building training my girlfriend, and I knew that you guys were down there sweating and working. So do you remember what I was doing when you came upstairs? I believe you were making a green drink. <laughs> and that was like your, your, you know, combating everything else. You're like, I'm making a green drink. I hadn't made a, drink, a green drink in four months, but knowing you were down there and you might be coming upstairs, I'm up there putting kale in a machine as you guys walk in, <laughs> making a green drink. You made a great impression. <laughs> Did you buy it? No, because Kate had already told me that she hates your green drink and she will not drink it. Is that what she said? But she's going to kill me if she's watching. They're so healthy. They're so good for you. You get all that vitamins and vegetables. Definitely. But they are, for, they are a, you know, a taste. An acquired taste. Exactly. But so is beer. Tell Kate so is beer. And she certainly caught on to that one. I can't lie that I also <laughs> like beer. Uh, so I can't really lie about that. Well, I like beer and you like beer. Clearly, I'm doing something very different than you. <laughs> I don't know how the camera's capturing these two bodies, but um, let's start from the beginning. You are, as we said, your uh, Instagram says, uh, certified personal trainer, casting director, and overall... Badass. Badass. I can love it. Can we say that? You can, I think we just did, so <laughs> we'll have to do... Explain to us, tell me where you're from, how did you start, what was your childhood like, were you athletic? Get, bring us from the beginning. Yeah, so... Um, I'm from Connecticut, so okay. tri-state area. Very good. Um, and I grew up a dancer and a gymnast, so I was athletic in that realm. Early on, you yeah. knew. Yeah, okay. but if you got me on a team sport, you lost me. I really? Mean, yeah, I liked them, I just wasn't great at it. Like, I played basketball for maybe like a hot second. And then... Um, so what did you do, how did you play as a kid? Did you, you know, some kids want to go play soccer, want to play with a, what, what did you do? I was outside. I outside. played outside, yeah. It was definitely always running around, always moving my body, um, running, you know, jumping on top of things, jumping off of them. I climbed trees. Oh, wow. I wasn't a, a tomboy at all. I was Got definitely you. a girly girl, but I still would put a dress on and then climb the tree. You Got know what you. I mean? So a little I was, of both. Yeah. Very modern, yes. So, uh, <laughs> so I was a competitive dancer. I went to college for musical theater and dance. Okay. Yes. And then after that, I was actually a casting director here in New York for s about six to seven years. Is that right? Yeah. Well, that is part of my world now that we're talking. I did many commercials, movies, TV shows, things like that. Yeah. Well, how did you how did you wind up getting to that world? Yeah. Well, I don't want to talk about <laughs> 
I don't want to talk bad about the entertainment industry at all, but I just... Oh, I will. <laughs> as we know, it can be a very dark entity, right? Depressing, uh, like sad, depressing. Was, lonely, uh, solitary. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I just yes. wanted to leave it at dark, all right, but okay, all right. no. Um, no, so I just kind of saw where my life could go, and I didn't want to go that direction anymore. Got you. I, was, I became very inspired when I moved to New York and started working full-time. I actually got myself a personal trainer as well. Um, Even though you had such a physical dance, all that background. So crazy enough, I after college dancing what felt like 24 hours a day, right. um, I came out and I had been performing all over the country, touring and stuff, and oh, wow. dancing and singing and all that. In what stuff. kind of productions? Um, I did a national tour, and then um, oh, and then I did an educational national tour, so it was more kid based. Wonderful. Uh, uh, performing in schools, I did some summer stock. Things like that. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. And um, I had gained some weight. Oh, really? Yeah, Imagine gained... that, being an entertainer on the road. I don't know anything about that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, right? You gained weight. So I gained about 30 pounds and didn't realize it. And, I did um, that one week, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Sneaks on. Yes, it does. Um, and then when I went to go put on pants that should have fit, uh, they didn't, didn't fit, fit. And it freaked me out. And... Um, I decided to lose the weight uh, as quickly as I could, and I did it in three months when I lost 35 pounds in three months. I would not suggest doing it that way wow. because it was, That's I didn't know anything yet. Right. You right. know? Um, 10 pounds a month. Yeah. It okay. was a little drastic. More than that. Yes. Yeah, I went vegetarian and then I went vegan. So I would wow. never, I'd never say, hey, let's do that. But, um, but I did it. And then when I moved to New York, and became a casting director after I decided I didn't want to perform anymore. I wanted to be the one making the decisions. Right. Boss, you know, a boss. I could not. Boss babe. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Badass. Badass boss. Yes, absolutely. Um, so I got into casting and I got myself a personal trainer. And through that, I found a personal trainer who really inspired me to learn more about how my body works, what it's capable of. I found this kind of new confidence in myself that I didn't really realized previously it was really inspiring and motivating and I kind of felt to myself I want to do that I want to do that for other people that's it well that, and I love that because it, just to step back for a brief moment uh, we certainly don't want to we're not criticizing anyone but you're a certified personal trainer which presumably means there are people who don't have the C in front of it they're just people who call themselves personal trainers and right. maybe, what does it mean that you're certified? You have extra training? Yes, you have to go through a certification. There's okay. numerous ones. There's, they're all, you know, there's a whole bunch that are nationally Specialties and, yeah. okay. And then it's a testing thing. So you study your, your butt off and then you take a test. Right. Um, and then from there, there's a whole bunch of other certifications you can get as well. Okay, so I like, have a slew of them. Okay, um, like what? What kind of things can yeah, you... Yeah, I have a TRX cert, which is a, a oh, certain TRX type of is that... apparatus. It's yeah. like a, a body weight suspension trainer. It's okay. yellow and black usually. I was close. <laughs> that was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can go like this, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, I also have a kettlebell cert, which is, you know, if you've seen the little kettlebells that look like... Right. Yeah. Right. And then... Um, I'll I, do the actions for everybody. <laughs> Um, I also have my pre and postnatal cert so I can train someone who's pregnant. Exactly. Okay. And, now it's just fun to me. I don't know. And then I have, I mean, I have a whole bunch. I have a, a, a yoga certification. I have a rock blade certification, which just means I can do a certain type of body work, which is like fascial scraping. Really? Yeah. Well, that seems like important stuff, especially when you're talking about something like pre and postnatal. That's actually, you're talking serious health. You, know, you want to make sure you have someone who knows what they're doing. It's important. I train about four pregnant women at the moment. That might be the plan you put me on right now. Um, <laughs> we'll start you with the basics. <laughs> the basic, if I were pregnant. Maybe get you uh, <laughs> really feeling your pelvic floor. Yeah, yes, exactly. That's what we want to do. Um, so that's very interesting, and I can relate certainly to uh, the idea of, like, I don't want to try to please somebody else to be, be the casting director. That whole idea, I love what you said, because I know in the business, you're like, hold on, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm in charge of. I know how good I am. I don't want to sit there and try to get someone else to pick me or like me. That's half of what we're doing here at SBTV, we're saying, oh, we don't need anyone else. We can just put the camera and, and, and do our own thing. Absolutely. So tell me then, how do you get into, first of all, I always hear trainer to the stars and all that kind of stuff. That's a big fancy thing, especially I do, I spent some time in LA and that, what is that? Is that just someone who someone hired and now they call themselves that or what is that? I would say sometimes what happens is you get really lucky as yeah. a personal trainer and you get that one client who maybe starts with you as maybe just a 
you know, D-list actor, and then kind of skyrockets, or, you know, word of mouth, word of mouth, and you end up landing a bigger name. I've, I've gotcha. gotten to train a couple of big names. I cannot say them, unfortunately. Is that right? Yeah. Are you I supposed to, like, sign a thing that says I've you? I've actually signed two NDAs, not, a, not allowed to say. Wow. Yeah. Wow. One of them I trained in her apartment. Is that so right? I, um, so no one would even know. We know it. Now you are just for clarity. You're allowed to brag about training me tonight. You can let. I will brag to you can, everybody. You can tell people that this happened. Yes. Um, part of my problem is I'm on the road a lot. I'm a comedian, 20 years now, uh, traveling a lot, working late, getting off stage at one, two in the morning. Not a lot of options food-wise. Sometimes you're starving. You're not ready to go to sleep. You dive into some wings at the old TJI Fridays. I'm only human. Couple of beers. Wake up tired. The whole thing. Well, I've been doing that for roughly 20 years. How's it working out? Well, this is my problem area right here. This is uh, what I would say. <laughs> so what I was hoping you could help me with is um, what, what do people do? Because I imagine even though my job is a little unique, everyone must be in the same boat today. Everyone's running a mile, 100 miles an hour. Everyone's late for work. Everyone doesn't have time for the meal. People have kids, homes, all this stuff. To, 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 what, what, is the, what do you see the most in terms of your clients? What do people come in? What do they want? What are they doing? And how do you help the person who just can't, doesn't have two hours a day to go to the gym? Well, I think the biggest, well, everybody has a different goal, right? Yes. So uh, some people come to me with maybe they're coming off of an injury and I'm going to rehab them out of okay. it or whatnot. Or it could be the, an aesthetic goal, which would be just to drop weight. Right. Or that whole idea of pre and postnatal. I want to work out through my pregnancy, but I don't know what I can do and cannot do. What am I allowed to do? Right. Sure. Um, or just, the, I have one client that really just wants to be challenged. She is uh, fit. Is that my girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> She's a bit of <laughs> She challenges She's a little me, nutty. that's for sure. She challenges me, that's for darn sure. <laughs> um, but, you know, that, you're, what you're asking too is, how do you deal with this stuff on the go? Which is actually yeah. a very frequent question. I a would lot of, think. Yeah, because we, well, I work in New York City and it, most of my clients travel. Yeah. I have a lot of clients that travel for a living. So I think the biggest thing is to just kind of keep yourself, when you're picking out foods to eat, you want to think of the three main things, which is going to be your macros. I don't know if, do you know what macros are? I do. They're okay. the larger foods. The larger, yeah. Mm -hmm, sure. <laughs> Um, is that not right? I'll give you I'll give you a pass on that. Okay. Um, but it's gonna be your grains, proteins. Okay. Protein, carbs, carbs, and fats. And fats. So those are your three, and then you can go into micronutrients, but we don't need to. I Macros must... are the mo three most important. Okay. Proteins, carbs, carbs, and fats. Fats. Yeah. Okay. So your biggest thing is you want to make sure that your proteins are the biggest thing on the plate. Okay. And preferably not fried, right? Right. Like your wings. Or not, yeah, yeah that's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So right. chicken, fish. Chicken, fish, beef. Um, beef, pork. I like. Yeah. The big you steak. You can do a really super lean uh, steak, like a flank steak's really lean, filet okay. mignon's really lean. Really? Yeah. They're well, that's not exciting. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Totally. I thought we we're not supposed to eat red meat anymore. I, don't, I never know what the rules are. I mean, yeah. In just moderation. Don't eat it every night. In moderation. <laughs> okay. And everything. I think that's a good rule of thumb: is everything in moderation. But you do, you do have to really think about like those are the proteins. Then gotcha. you're going to go to your carbs. Your carbs are going to be your starchy foods like okay. potatoes. So French fries, rice. Right. Um, all those things. So pretzels, right. potato chips, like all that is going to be in the carb form. Now you and wanna they're okay? No, you want to stick to your, like, your, your nicer carbs, right? Your nicer, so your nicer carbs, which is going to be carbs. like rice, sweet potatoes, even white potato is fine. Okay. Um, couscous, quinoa, which is really popular now. Delicious. Um, and then you have all these other greens like farro and bulgur wheat and things like that. They're also not bad. Okay. But you want to make sure that your protein is bigger than your carb. Okay. And your fat is the smallest one on the plate. And what are the legal fats now? Legal what am fats, I allowed a to... good fat. You've probably heard this, like healthy fats. You always hear good right? fat. Yeah, healthy fats. Avocados, olive oil, love um, it, love even it. nuts that are maybe even more on the unsalted side. So an almonds? unsalted nut. Yeah, almonds are great. Cha Ching. Cashews. Okay. I mean, cashews are really great. Okay. Um, and a lot of people, I should have mentioned this, don't realize that fruit is carb. Fruit is a carb. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Because it's sugar, so it processes as a carb. 
is that what? Because when I do my little green drinks and I look up all the calories online, it's like fruit actually is kind of high in calories too. Is that why? It's, it's because of the natural sugar. Now it's a natural ah, sugar, so we think healthy with it. Better than refined. But you exactly. Got you. But you still need to be careful with how much. Got to. You can't just have a huge plate of fruit and then think like, oh, this is great. I ate fruit. I ate fruit today. Good for I'm me. so healthy, but in reality, it's still going to spike your insulin in your body. That, well, that's the thing I'm learning too as I get older. Um, what I used to be able to do when I was younger and I was active and lean, and I said, oh, I'm gaining a couple pounds, I could literally like eat a piece of broccoli and go for a run and be back in shape. That no longer happens anymore. And I'm learning a lot about um, uh, amounts, portion control. You know, because you, like you said, you can eat a whole plate of fruit is not good for you. I would have told you I could eat a whole plate of fruit and that's wonderful for you. because A whole all, tray, right? Yeah, a whole tray. Oh, three, oh, and sometimes in the green room of comedy or whatever, backstage, we get a whole thing. I'm like, hey, we're just throwing it's, it. It's good. healthy, it's fruit. And then you look it up and it's, you know, 1,500 calories you just had. That's a, Yeah, so it, that's the thing that's killing me now. Like I thought if I ate nothing but salads and vegetables, I could eat all as much as you want but even that's not really true right salads are tricky because in america we pour a whole bunch of stuff on top of it whether it's like a candied walnut or a pecan right or we'll throw sunflower seeds and then we'll throw chia seeds and then gravy we're gonna throw and beer yeah and i mean gravy, yeah uh, whatever yeah, yeah. <laughs> but things yes beer in a salad i've never had that cheese oh, that's a big like, one you put the cheese yeah, on it cheese. the croutons exactly so bacon you're, bits you're adding all of these yes extra calories yes that's that is not necessarily healthy. I, it, 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 that, that's such a tricky thing for me. I got to start counting better because the few times I've been successful, I've been counting the calories and been like, oh, that actually, uh, you can have a piece of pizza, but it just means, you know, count them and figure out what else you have. And In this technical age that we live in, there are so many apps that you can use to, right. to like calorie count your food that make it so simple. And what do you do? What is your, do you, uh, st do you struggle on a day-to-day -day basis? I mean, because oh I know you I like so to eat. I struggle. Right? I love food. I'm a sweets fanatic. There's times are you when, really? Oh my God, there's times when my husband will like come into the kitchen and be like, what are you doing? And I'm literally like spooning <laughs> the peanut butter. Like, I'm not doing anything, you know? Like, I'm just as guilty. I'm a person, you right. know, just as, you know, I love chocolate cake. So I, but I'm that's good for us to hear then. So how do you handle those cravings? So for me, what's worked for me is just consistency. And ev like we said, everything in moderation. Yeah. I'll allow myself like one really bad meal a week. Okay. So um, my biggest thing is like a burger, a cheeseburger with fries and, and definitely a, a beer to go with it. Uh -huh. and, and that will be- A beer, just one reset. One. Okay, all right. And then just one. It's a large beer though, hopefully. It's a yeah. <laughs> you, know, you mean Bucket. that one that you get yes. all the way <laughs> Keep topping it yeah, off exactly. so it's never really empty. <laughs> um, but I would have one beer and that would be my cheat for the week. Okay. I also count, I go off of an app and I, I don't know if I, you want me to plug it, but um, you want to I use an app called the RP Diet, Okay. which is uh, amazing. It's very individualized to the person. You put in your lifestyle day to day and you can change it whenever you need to, when you wake up, when you go to bed, how many meals you want to eat per day. Um, what your goal is. So if you want to just maintain right. this beautiful physique, then you stay and you say I want to change a thing. This is my temple. Yeah, if you want to lose weight, if you want to gain weight. And it, it kind of just figures out for you. Basically what you do is you go into the app and it'll tell you exactly what time to eat and it'll tell you you're going to have 25 grams of protein. You'll click in the protein and it'll have a pull down menu of all these different proteins. everything. And so I bring all my food with me all day. So in, in my bag. And, and well, that's yeah, and that's a, a wonderful thing to be able to focus on. Uh, you know, I, I guess that's the thing I need to start doing. Then start saying, okay, I need to start thinking about what I'm going to eat because when I don't think ahead, then then, we then get in trouble. exactly. Yeah. Then it's then the 99 cents pizza then downstairs. It's the dollar slice pizza yes. or a granola bar or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. And then you just and you in the moment you need something. The other thing I would say is, is uh, you probably would agree with this, the few times that I have been disciplined in my life and, and said, okay, and then here's my splurge, I really enjoyed that splurge. Whereas uh, Jack and I tonight were over there having mozzarella burgers and oh, yeah, hey, throw them down, didn't even, but if it was my one time a week I could have a mozzarella burger, I'd tell you what. It's gonna taste so good. Right? I don't even remember it tonight, but thank you for dinner, Jack. Uh, but <laughs> So that's the nice thing. A little bit of discipline, probably in all parts of life, is not a bad thing. Yeah, and move more. Oh, gosh. 
On that note, yeah. I am traveling a lot. I'm in hotel rooms a lot. Uh, it is tough. I'm not always. I don't always have access to a gym. I've been right. trying to be good about steps. Uh, that's the you know the hot thing these days. Is, are you getting enough How steps? Many steps are you doing? How many yeah. steps? And I know that there's pros. You know, people argue yes and no about whether. But I, you know, it is a good thing. Sometimes I'll look and go. I'm at four thousand for the day. Let me just go out and walk around the block a few times. That's good, right? If it's going to push you to do more, yes. Yeah. I just think if you live in New York, you should at least have 10,000 steps. That's yes. Oh, well, yeah, let's not throw stones. You're in my studio here. <laughs> let's not judge. But I would love if you wouldn't mind to wrap our episode. Um, the wonderful Lynn Simmons is here live on SBTV. Uh, I would love if you wouldn't mind taking a few moments to show me maybe some basic things. Keeping in mind, I'm just easing into this. Uh, but when I'm in a hotel room, if I don't have access to a gym, I'm in the middle of nowhere on the side of a highway and I'm depressed and, oh, um, if you can, <laughs> what can I do physically that maybe would just be some good stuff for my body? Okay, great. Can we do a little yeah, couple exercises? Yeah, we're gonna do it. Let's move this stuff Let's out of the way. Let's move this stuff out of the way. You now, I cut up a sock here and uh, the gym sock that I wore and I, nice. I thought I should probably like be ready to work out, yeah, this right? this is good. Game face. This is, yeah, I thought like you, Rocky. Do you want one? I can make one for yeah, you. you should def oh, no, no, you, no. You good? Yeah. Because I have another sock. The other left foot? No? Okay. Okay. So, uh, are we going to go down? Would you we're yeah, gonna our go cameraman down. wants us to we slow, go down. slowly, slowly go down. You want to take a knee? I'm going to warn you once I take a knee, uh, that's it. I, I'm down for the episode. I'm not sure we're getting back up. Is that all right? I look pretty good. Look at me on the camera. I don't know. I think the sweatband is, is your look. I think it's not a bad look. I have a lot of <laughs> socks that I don't know what to do with. Perhaps I get them color-coded. Okay. Well, Lynn, take it away. Tell yeah. me what to do here. So we won't do a squat with you today, but I do want to say if you are in, uh, stuck in a hotel room, squats. Squats? Squats are really important. Cause Why? It's, yeah, that's a good question. It's a complex movement, and what that means is that it's hitting multiple body parts instead of just one. Okay. So now you're getting something that's more full body, meaning you're burning more calories, activating more muscle mass, therefore also your metabolism spikes. Really? Mm -hmm. It affects metabolism? Working out affects metabolism, yeah. Right after you work out, your metabolism is really high, therefore okay. a lot of people eat something right after a oh, lot of times because, you, because your metabolism is going so you're kind of revving it up. So if I eat, go work out, I can eat more? I mean, after we do this, maybe you I, can actually have a little dollar slide. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. what we'll start first with is we're going to go into a high plank just because, um, just to show you like since we're beginning, high plank. a high plank. I've so heard of this planking. I've heard of it. Planking. It's all the rage. I, yes, yes. But it's important because, again, we're going to hit with a plank. Um, it's the best way to hit your abdominals. There's something on your abdominals called the transverse abdominals, and then this is like one of the only ways to really hit it intensely. Okay. So this is the best way, but it's also full body. They have not been hit in a while. So, so we're going to see let's... how this works out for you. <laughs> I was going to say, we might want to be careful with my transverse. So this will look a lot similar to um, like a push-up position. So I'm going to have you get into like what you would do for a push-up. For a push-up? Okay, yeah. so uh, I'm kind of... Yeah. I, I do knee push oh, I'm kidding. You want to do, you wanna do <laughs> I was gonna do the girl knee push -ups. push ups? No, I'm just kidding. Ah, so, with woo! the plank, you're doing great. This is with about the plank, it. Okay. you can put your knees down, but what I want you to think about with the plank is you want to make sure that your hips don't dip so that you're not getting any lower back tension. Gotcha. So, so you want to think about almost so, kind of so tucking hips, hips your butt up. under. Tuck your butt under. There Tuck you go. Under. Right oh, there. Okay. And shoulder blades down and shoulder head will look down. down. Obviously, the camera's hold there, down. but that's what you would do. And you can hold this for 30 seconds. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I right? can't. Right? You can hold this forever, right? Th this is, am I in a plank right now? Yeah, you're in a high Woo! plank. Woo! I am planking, everybody. Woo! Good. So this is, I'm speaking too. That's not, really good. Not for long, my transverses are barking. <laughs> they are. They are on fire right now. Now, Michael, do this. Do me a favor. Go down to your elbow. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. So from now there. you can do the same thing. Okay. You're just gonna put your hands on the floor. Your elbows on the floor. Hand, hand elbows. Floor. Elbows. Yeah. And then you're gonna go back into that same position. Put your legs out straight. So okay. this one would be harder. So this is. <laughs> this would, is harder. Would be and is. Yes. <laughs> I would say. So this is the the high plank is for someone who's maybe just starting out, and then you can progress yourself to the the plank. So on your did elbows. you feel like what you witnessed me doing in the high plank? You had you said, well, he's ready for the next level. I felt level. like you could definitely do a plank for maybe like ten seconds. Okay, so I feel like now I have to do that. This is the this is the guy in me. <laughs> uh, palms down. Palms down. Palms down. Make sure your elbows are right underneath your shoulders. Under the shoulders. And you're gonna put your feet lift, right back. Lift the butt up. Lift, and you're gonna think about ah! squeeze your butt and ah! your quads, the front of your legs. 
<laughs> I can't. There you go. Good, that's 10, relax. <laughs> you did do it. <laughs> Bright red face and all, right? My transverse, <laughs> my transverse. Do we have medical insurance, Jack? Okay. Uh -oh. Whew. Okay. Ugh. So that was so a breeze. That was not a problem at all. Very full body. What was I doing? Like, what? What was I? If I'm in a hotel room, and, and I said, okay, it's time to exercise. Lynn says, boom. Start on the high ones. Yeah. So I mean, a good circuit. Like a circuit. Ooh, circuit. Meaning, yeah, we're gonna all get right. technical. All right. So a good circuit, even if you're um, in a hotel room, could be like 10 body weight squats then hold the high plank for 30 seconds and then maybe go down to the elbow plank for 10 seconds take a 20 second 30 second rest okay. do the whole thing again and you can How many do that times? well i would say three to five oh 30 seconds and 10 seconds yeah but that max would take you about five minutes okay that would well yeah so you're taking five minutes out of your day that, that is you know when you put it that way too it is amazing like for five minutes and it's then not, what am I doing? Am I getting better cardio, cardiovascularly? Or am I getting strong, stronger you're core? You're on your core. That's I feel like it's ripped right now. You, I, ripped? you feel you're this? Oh. Yeah, look at that, huh? My goodness. I know. That's, That's the, the chicken. Watch out. I feel like you might have an a, a upper hand on your brother now. I, think, I, I, I hope he's not watching. I hope we just lost a pound. That might just be the chicken mozzarella right there. <laughs> Okay, anything else I should know? What else can I do? Those are, um, I think we can go into a push-up. How do you feel about push-ups? <sighs> me we again? Can do, you, me, <laughs> I can do it. I was you up, I felt like I was up in the position. No, no, I'm here, I'm ready, let's do this. Do My knees so are bothering me. Yeah, but you're like, <laughs> sorry. This is, this is so a, go ahead and get into that same position. Oh, yeah. And then uh, <laughs> we're gonna show you that kind of like a military push-up. Oh yeah. Keep your elbows tight to your body. <laughs> Butt down. And you're gonna go down. <laughs> <laughs> and then come right back up. Yeah! Oh there my go. God! How about that? Go. Did you see what I just did? I just, I saw it. Yeah, how many of those are you supposed to do? One? <laughs> well, you can build. How many can you do? Me? Yeah. Um, I'm not super strong in my chest area. I wasn't going to say anything. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, yeah. No. Um, <laughs> it's okay. Um, I can do about 15 to 20. Man, full down on, full, full down, down up. Full down, full down up, but I'll struggle towards the end for sure. What about the knees? I always see sometimes if you need a little help, you do the knees. Oh my goodness, yeah, you can definitely go down to your knees. So let me try one of those. Yeah, so just think about pushing, push your hips forward. So hold put on. your knees down and Hips good. forward. Yes, there like you this. go, right there. Woo! Knee push-ups. Knee push-ups. Okay. And now go for it again, try it. You're going to bring the elbows, yeah, oh! shoulders down. Oh! And push right up. Oh! Good. You see what I just did? You're a very good trainer, by the way. <laughs> very you. talented. You want me to see another one? I want to see one? another one. Want to see another one? Oh. Want to see those, those chest muscles get pumped. <laughs> Mozzarella burgers. <laughs> That's my motivational. All right, so if I do that on the road every day, mm -hmm. don't overdo it. That's my thing. I don't want to get an overuse injury. No, we don't want to do that. OK, no. so how do I? Tell me how to ease into it. Just a little bit a day, five minutes is all it takes. I would say Five minutes to ease into it, then you can always progress and go further to do 10 minutes or you know whatnot. I will say too that if you are on the road and you are in a hotel that does happen to have uh, one of those kind of like makeshift gyms that really only has like a Not treadmill, much. a bike, and a couple of dumbbells, you can still do this and then put in like an incline walk on the treadmill, you know what I mean? Or okay. like a little sprint on the bike for 30 seconds and then hop off and then do these exercises. Hop back on the bike, sprint for 30 seconds, hop back off, do these exercises. I, you do that three to five times and you can progress yourself to do it more or do it less. That sounds, yeah. And then all of a sudden you got a little cross training thing going. Exactly. And yeah, you put together what, 25, 30 minute workout? That's like about 20 minutes if you did that, what, five times and you didn't, you stopped for 20 seconds rest. I think that's yeah. about 20 minutes and that's probably, that's pretty good. I mean, 30 minutes would be better, but I think 20 minutes is a good way to start. Well, right now I'm doing zero minutes and I'm watching so, ESPN and ordering pizza. So I think anything more than that is going to so be So five minutes is all I want better than Michael. <laughs> I hit the road again this September. Lynn, I am taking your tips with me on the Amazing. road. Good. And I'm going to have, when I come back, I'm going to make you proud. You better be ripped. I thank you so <laughs> much for taking your time. Can you, how can the people find you if they want to, if they want to come see you? Yeah. How do they, could they follow you? Can they chase yeah, you down? So, uh, yeah, I know you're very busy. No, it's okay. 
Um, my Instagram is at um, Linny S77, um, L I N N Y S77. And I also have a Facebook page for my uh, business, which is called Badass Fitness. I also teach a dance cardio class Wednesdays and Saturdays. It's called the DSG Project, which stands for Dance Sweat Groove. Um, and you can look us up on Insta as well. I think that is uh, Dance Groove is my next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, live SBTV here Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. Thank you for watching, everyone. We'll see you next week.